For many years, I've been honored to work with the foster care community, advancing legislation that will help get foster children and youth closer to a permanent, safe, and loving home. Improving opportunities for children and young adults is one of the most important things that we can do as a society, and it's been a priority of mine for a very long time. It's a privilege to serve as a champion for kids in foster care and kids waiting for adoption. The bipartisan bill entitled Fostering Connections to Success and Increasing Adoptions Act was a tremendous step forward in our efforts to help foster children and youth. The new law gives states a number of options to improve outcomes for kids in foster care. More still needs to be done, obviously, and foster care kids need to be a part of that process. So Senator Mary Landrieu and I formed a caucus entitled the Caucus for Foster Youth to give older youth in and out of care a uh, place where their voices could be heard and also so that they can be a part of the legislative process. This month, during National Foster Care Month, Senator Landrieu and I are leading the caucus in educating our colleagues and the public about the needs of youth in foster care. We're specifically focusing on the 29,000 young people who age out of foster care each year without having permanent family relations. During events uh, this month, uh, we've highlighted the inspirational stories of young people who have been through the foster care system, including the story of one Jimmy Wayne, who overcame adversity to become a successful country singer. Congress needs to hear ideas and opinions directly from kids who have experienced firsthand the foster care system. Information sessions and panel discussions offer us the opportunity to learn what we need to do to move forward so that no child is ever without a permanent and loving home and that foster youth have a smooth transition out of the system. I look forward to addressing the needs of foster kids and upcoming legislation, such as the reauthorization of the Federal Elementary and Secondary Education Act. I've urged senators to consider the direct experiences of foster youth in the nation's education system and their suggestions for reform. Reforms could include better record keeping, more of an effort to keep students in the same school when their foster homes change, and better coordination between school personnel and child welfare agencies in developing strategies to help these young people. Foster youth go through a great deal in their short lives, and the one thing that they want most is a mom and dad and a permanent loving home. So thank you to the many unsung heroes who help these 500,000 foster children and youth find that one thing, a place to call home.